accept and yield. Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him. That the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Verse 11. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Verse 13. And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. In Romans chapter 6, the chapter where Paul unveils to us this truth of identification, as he uh, informs us or he gives us insight to the truth that we have been uh, crucified, buried, raised up uh, and, uh, uh, and ascended with Christ and seated with Christ, uh, he then tells us three important instructions uh, in connection with this. First of all, he emphasizes knowing. He says, knowing this, that this is what has happened. Our old man has been crucified. Knowing this. So it's very important to know this spiritual truth. To know that God has done this for us. The second thing he tells us is, he says, reckon yourselves. The word reckon there in verse 11 uh, is an old English word which simply means to count as a fact. To accept it. So first we must know this truth. Second, we must accept this truth of identification. Accept that this is reality. This is what God has done for me in Christ. The third thing he says in verse 13 is this. Knowing this, God has done this for us. Now present your body or align your lifestyle, align your living with this truth. So you know it, you accept it, and then you walk in it. You present your members, your body as instruments of God, as people who are alive from the dead, as people who have been raised up with Jesus, as people who have who have ascended with Christ, as people who are seated with Christ. You now present your body to God as an instrument of righteousness and live this truth out in your everyday life. So the challenge for you and me is this, for us to know this truth of identification, to accept this truth and say, this is reality. If God said it, that he's done this for me, I am embracing it. And thirdly, I, you and I walk in it. We present our members, our body, yield, it, yield ourselves to this truth and say, God, I will walk in this truth. I want to encourage you to reflect on this truth of identification. And you know it, accept it, and walk in it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for unveiling to us this truth of identification with Jesus. Help us to understand it. Help us to accept it, O oh God. And help us, Lord, to yield ourselves to it so that we can walk in it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.